If you find yourself in a discussion with a theist and the question is put to you whether or not you believe in God, what you really have to do first is ask the person what they mean by believe. See, in my growing list of words that I don't use because they mislead, I no longer use the word believe. It isn't that I don't have faith in certain aspects of human nature, in certain processes, even in certain practices that some might call religious, which are really philosophical. It's more that the word concedes the argument. If somebody says to you, do you believe in God? If you answer on those terms, you're already accepting that what they think of as a God exists. You're accepting that they're asking you whether you have faith in this entity, when the existence of the entity hasn't been proven or discussed at all. Instead of the word believe or belief, I use the words accept facts. So example, for example, in terms of discussing climate change, I don't ask people, do you believe in climate change? This is conceding the battleground. It isn't a believable thing, it's a knowable thing. So I ask them if they accept the facts of climate change. Now they're on my, now they're on my turf. When you accept the premise of belief, you're on their turf. And you can't really forget about winning the argument. You can't even make a plausible argument because you're conceding the grounds of science and reason for those of metaphysics and delusion.